You're watching MileHighSportsPreps.com. Jay Madden had a great year. He had a great year last year. They uh, went 10-2 and two a year ago, lost to Columbine in the state playoffs, even though they, they won the championship. And uh, they're a tough team. They lost one game this year. They lost to Arvada West. They had a big uh, come-from-behind win against Bear Creek. And then um, really pretty much had their uh, own way at rec field uh, beating Fairview. How about a big hand for Jay Madden? Well, what can I say? It's been an incredible year. Um, we've had an incredible group of seniors that, uh, I'll tell you what, if somebody would have told them they were going to be here as freshmen, they, there's no way they would have believed it. Um, it was a crazy freshman year. But they've grown up a ton. It's a great group of kids. We've got a good, solid defense with some great kids. Um, I only think we only have 14 seniors on the whole team, though. So, I mean, the kids have stuck it out, really made it, and it's it been a lot of fun this year. Um, the last, you know, five or six weeks, we've just been on a great roll. Um, the kids are playing great. Defense is playing solid. Um, we've got our quarterbacks playing great. So it's been a lot of fun. But the most best thing about it is we got to decide when our season ended this year. We wanted to make sure that everything we did, that we decided that we were going to play as long as we could possibly play because we have so much fun together. We enjoy each other all the time. We've got a great coaching staff. You know, I mean, and it was nice not to have to play Columbine in the playoffs for the first time in three years. And, uh, but now we have to play Mullen. So you know what? They're a great team. And uh, we're going to give it everything we got. But uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope we put on a good show for you guys on Saturday afternoon. Thanks. If I were to describe your quarterback with one word, Grimes would be unflappable. Does the kid ever get shook up? I've, I don't think I've ever seen a high school kid as calm and um, as prepared. And I like him. I'll be honest with you, I like him better on the move. I really do. Well, he's a, he's a pretty special kid. I mean, I, nothing does bother him usually. Um, he just, but that's his demeanor. He just carries himself that way. If you walk through the halls, I guarantee you no one knows that he's this quarterback at Pomona. He just walks the halls, takes care of business, does his stuff. Um, but he's a super smart kid, and I think he's a kid that didn't grow up thinking that he was going to be the superstar quarterback. He just grew up hoping he could make the football team. And he's approached it that way every day of his life as he's not, I'm the stud, I'm the great player, I'm this or that. He just wants to play and help the team win. And that keeps him relaxed because he doesn't think he has to be a hero. But I tell you what, he sure was on Saturday with, what, over 300 yards total offense by himself. Well, it takes some pressure off. And when we run out that field, there's no one in the stands going to be thinking, hey, Pomona should win this game. And we've had our other 13 games this year. I think most people thought we were supposed to win the game. So there was some pressure. So now some of that's off. And, but at the same time, just like Dave said, you still have to play the game. And we can say David and Goliath, and we've got to do this, we've got to do that. The reality is they have an incredibly great football team, and everybody thinks they're great, and they are. But we've got a pretty good team, and we're going to show up and do the best we can. And, but I think the pressure's definitely not on us right now. You're watching MileHighSportsPreps.com. Brought to you by Caribou Coffee. Life is short. Stay awake for it. Find a location near you at caribucoffee.com.